since the weekend. Last night my fake ID got stolen. My life's a mess, I didn't notice. Whenever bad shit happens, doesn't bother me at all. No, I'ma do it how I want. Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, welcome, my name is Christine. Today we are doing a makeup first impressions and I have a ton of new makeup here that I haven't tried yet and I'm gonna go ahead and review everything at the end. Before we go ahead and get started, first make sure you hit the subscribe button if you haven't already and the little notification bell and without further ado, let's get started. I feel like when I start these videos, I look like such a nub, like compared to how I look at the end of the video. <laughs> We're gonna go ahead and start with some skincare. I have been loving this Dermalogica Dynamic Skin Recovery. This makes my skin look so beautiful. It actually has SPF as well, so I'm just using it as like my moisturizer slash SPF. Lately, my skin has been cooperating with me, but then stuff like this happens. Like, what the heck? I'm actually gonna put my hair back, and I have this little headband. I did go ahead and do my brows off camera. I used the Benefit Cabral. I talked about that in my favorites video, but if you guys are interested in seeing how I do my brows, go ahead and check out my last everyday makeup tutorial. But first, let's start off with eye makeup. I have a new eyeshadow palette here, and this is actually from Urban Decay. This is their new Naked Honey palette and how gorgeous this is. The warm tones are like calling my name. Okay, so I'm actually gonna prime my eyelids using this Urban Decay Primer Potion. This is actually my first time using this. Can you believe that? I don't normally use eyelid primer, but when I do my makeup like in the middle of the day when I've had my skincare on for a while, then I like to prime my eyelids. And then I'm gonna be using my e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer. And I still have to play around with this more, but I do really enjoy it. So this palette does come with a brush, but they're not like my preferred brush of choice. So I'm actually going to go in with this Morphe M441 brush. I'm going to pick up this warm transition color. This is the shade Swarm. I'm just going to dust that in my crease. I'm going to go ahead and speed through this section. Cool, so I'm actually just gonna leave it matte like that, but everything blended out so nicely and the colors in here are beautiful, so I definitely will have to play around with this a little bit more. So next I'm gonna go ahead and curl my eyelashes. I have this new eyelash curler from Laura Mercier. I've been really enjoying this, like I really, really like it. I have been ride or die for my Shiseido lash curler for the longest time, but I think it might have been replaced by this one. I also just got my eyelash extensions removed. I feel like my eyelashes were really damaged by it. They look a lot shorter than they used to. That's why I reserve getting eyelash extensions only for vacations. Anyways, I have some goodies here from Givenchy. I think they're Givenchy. I feel broke because I don't know how to pronounce this. But I have here the base mascara and I normally go in with a waterproof mascara first because it helps to keep my like straight lashes curled all day. So this is meant to be like a base coat of mascara and something you put on before you put on your actual mascara. We could leave it like this too if we wanted. And then we have another Givenchy mascara. This one is Volume Disturbia. And the brush looks just like this. Don't normally like mascara wands like this. It was kind of hard for me to get into all of my lashes and now it's kind of clumping together. Since I don't have my normal waterproof mascara, my lashes are already like falling flat. Also, I meant to do eyeliner before I did my mascara, but let's just roll with it. Kaja Beauty has this wing stamp liner. Usually you would like stamp it onto your eye and it gives you kind of like a winged effect, but it's just not as sharp as I would want it. Yeah, look, look how stubby it is. Oh, that's just that. Yeah, this is, this is why I don't use these types of things. Okay, so now it comes with like a normal eyeliner, liquid eyeliner that you can use to fix the lines. So let's see how this is. Okay, so they're a little bit crooked. 
but I love the way that this one turned out. The stamp tool was kind of hard to use, but I actually do like this eyeliner like I would buy it alone. It's easier to work with than a lot of liquid eyeliners that I have tried and it helped me get like a really clean point. It's also really matte, so I do like this eyeliner. Let's go ahead and put on false lashes. I have this Sephora Collection Luxe False Lash in the style Quill. These are gorgeous, gorgeous. If you guys don't know, I'm actually part of the Sephora squad. I announced this a while ago. I do get to work with Sephora a lot and you guys have seen quite a few sponsored Sephora videos already which is awesome but Sephora collection did send me a lot of things these ones look really light and easy to work with I do have to cut them because the way that my eye shape is set up like I just cannot be like that so I am going to cut these put them on and I'll be right back okay so that is what the lashes look like on they're absolutely gorgeous they're super natural and i normally like something with a little bit more drama but i'm okay with it okay next let's go ahead and do the face makeup i have this matte perfection foundation from sephora collection this is in the shade 34. i only use this one time and i don't remember what i thought about it it's she thick so i'm going to be using the japanesque brush i recently have been into using foundation brushes to put on my foundations i also just watched hustlers and if you guys have seen that movie it is so good but jennifer lopez was so bomb and i also really love constance Wu, and i feel like she's so good at playing like the innocent girl okay it's a little orange what did i do i look like a carrot okay so um yeah, I'm going to take this off and I'll be right back. I'm back. So I went ahead and reapplied all of my skincare and my primer back again. I actually have a different shade of this foundation. I'm not going to go balls to the wall again and just put it straight on my face. I'm actually going to swatch it and see. So this one is in the shade 31 Sable Warm Sand. That alone actually looks like it might be a good match. And also this foundation is very full coverage, so I probably did not even need as much as I used last time. I also switched out my foundation brushes because I want zero orange vibes. So we have this Sephora Collection complexion brush. Let's try it again. Okay, much better. I actually did like the finish of this foundation too. I feel like it's very full coverage, but it gives me like a really good matte finish so look i even have some extra left because this foundation is so full coverage i'm gonna go in with a sponge and just make that sink into the skin a little bit more okay let's go ahead and go in with the under eyes i have this laura mercier secret camouflage concealer and i have been really enjoying this i feel like this is a really good corrector for my under eye baggies so i'm just gonna pick up a little bit of both it is kind of dry right now but i feel like once i work with it a little bit more it's gonna be real nice and this is just gonna correct any of the like blues and darkness that I have on my under eyes and then I'm gonna go over with concealer and then I'm gonna go in with this Laura Mercier flawless finish concealer and this is in the color 3w I just got this and I really really like it. I feel like it's a really good brightening color but not super super brightening it's almost like my perfect like natural under eye color See how nice that is? So pretty. I'm gonna wipe off some of the foundation on my lips. Do you guys know I'm obsessed with cream blushes and this one by Tara28 that I mentioned in my favorites video is such a goodie. This is in the color Golden Hour. It really does last all day, blends out really easily. And so I'm just gonna use that on the apples of my cheeks. And I'm actually going to take whatever's left on my fingers and kind of drag it across my nose. And then I'm going to use my sponge to go ahead and blend out the edges. Now I'm going to go ahead and set my face. I have the setting powder from Givenchy. I tried this a couple times. I don't know if I like it. I don't know if you can tell, but it has four different colors. And then when you swish it around and then dust it on your face, it's supposed to be super brightening and color correcting. I just think this kind of stuff is kind of gimmicky, but as a translucent powder... I thought I would try it out again. So I'm going to go ahead and try it with a brush because the last time I used it with a sponge, I feel like it just picked up so much of the colors that it gave my under eyes kind of like a blue undertone. It applied less of the powder and I think it looks a little bit better, but I don't think it does anything as far as brightening. 
Next, to bronze up the face, I have two palettes here from Sephora Collection. This one is more of a highlighter palette, but it does look really, really pretty, so we'll have to play around with that. And then this one here is the Sephora Pro Face Palette. Look how ginormal this is. And this mirror is insane. It's huge. Oh, look, that's my filming setup. I'm a little bit skeptical because the colors just look not my ideal bronzing color, but let's just try it out. So I have this Sephora Collection Highlight and Contour Brush. And we'll pick up this color Muse and use that to kind of warm up the face. It kind of smells like alcohol. Okay, that's not really doing anything. Let's try this one. This is more of a contour color. You guys see anything? Yeah, no. I don't know if I can do that. Let's actually put on some of the blush. No, I don't even know if I want to use. Okay, so that was a no-go. Sorry, Sephora. I do have this new palette from Hourglass. This is the ambient lighting ghost edition i am obsessed with hourglass i love their palettes i think their ambient lighting palettes are so worth the money the colors in here are always just so gorgeous so i'm actually just going to use this bronzing shade right here oh thank you more stuff <laughs> i do really like these brushes though from sephora collection and i think some of the shapes like the shape of this one is perfect for bronzing and contouring okay so that's nice but i normally like my contour and bronzer to be a little bit darker like i feel like it didn't really do anything for the shape of like i still look like an egg i'll go ahead and fix that in a second but i am gonna use this sephora collection angled blush brush and i'm gonna pick up this color is pretty I do have this palette from Tarte that I have really been enjoying. This is actually from BoxyCharm. This is their Clay Play Palette. Gorgeous, gorgeous. And I'm actually going to mix these two shades because I feel like my face needs a little bit of warmth, but I also want to contour. I'm going to go ahead and pick up this shade and contour my nose with my Luxie 182 brush. Okay, so I'm going to go into the Sephora Collection palette. I'm going to try this highlight shade right here. That was uh, Brandon's grandma. She delivers my PR packages to my room. And then next, I'm going to go ahead and finish up my lips. I'm going to use this ColourPop lippy pencil and this one is in the color little one i think this will be a good nude okay so it is really pretty it is a little bit lighter than i normally like so i'm gonna try this givenchy by the end of this video i must have pronounced it right one time we have this rouge vinyl lipstick in the color shadow pink but look at this packaging so luxe so bougie so it has a little pull tab wow bouge so it is kind of a purpley color but let's just see I feel like this whole look is a mess. <laughs> it's a really pretty color. I like the finish of it, but I think it's a little too pastel purple for me. And I do have these new lipsticks from Hourglass that look so gorgeous. Um, this packaging is also insane. And so this is a lipstick that is actually interchangeable. So the color that's in it right now is the color you inspire. Ah, uh, I always do nude, so let's just try it. Okay, so I have this Pat McGrath lip liner in the color Supernatural. This is just like a dark nude because I don't want to alter the color of the lipstick. This is like my perfect nude lip liner. Look how good that color is. I love that. Okay, so let's go in with this Hourglass lipstick. Okay, so that is what the color looks like. I kind of like it. So let's go ahead and finish up the brows. I have yet another product from Givenchy. This is the Mr. Brow Groom Brow Gel. And then I'm gonna go ahead and set my face. I have the Sephora Collection Beauty Amplifier Set and Refresh Spray. Okay, so this is the finished look. I actually love the way it turned out. I also feel like with a high neck sweater, it looks a little bit more fall appropriate. So I hope you all like this look. I feel like it was kind of all over the place. Some key pieces that I did really like. The Givenchy mascaras. I'm going to say a no. The brow gel I actually really did like, and I feel like it did a good job of brushing up my brow hairs, but I just prefer a dark color. But I think for the price, get like the essence one. Foundation is amazing. I will have to see how it wears, but the finish that it gives my skin is so pretty. And for the price, this gives really good coverage and they have a really good color range. Just don't get that like carrot orange color that I tried at first. 
I think Laura Mercier is really good at complexion products and I really, really enjoy this camouflage concealer. I feel like it's super high coverage. It does a good job of correcting my under eye darkness and this concealer is incredible. This definitely is a really good concealer and it's a must try. If they have it in your shade, I highly recommend trying it out. You guys know I talked about this in my favorites video. I love this Tower 28 blush. It also lasts all day and I love the natural color that it gives my skin. The stamp eyeliner is just a no for me. Like it made my wings not line up and I feel like I would normally be better with just like a normal liquid eyeliner. If they sold this alone, I would actually buy it because I do really enjoy that. These lipsticks, it was kind of sticky and so I had to kind of pat out to blend out the lip color but I do like this it is interchangeable. The bullet feels pretty heavy and expensive so I feel like this would make a really good gift idea. I have to play around with a little bit more but I feel like today I liked how it looked using a brush with it but when I use a sponge it just picks up too much of the colors. If you do use it with a brush I did really enjoy it and it smells nice. It does really feel like a luxury item. If you were to buy anything from Sephora collection I do really enjoy the brushes. Naked Honey palette blended out so beautifully. The colors in it are like right up my alley so I will have to play with that a little bit more. I believe that is everything that I tried out. I hope you all enjoyed this video. Make sure you give it a a thumbs up if you did like it and want to see more videos like this and before you go be sure to check out these videos down here and thank you guys so much for watching i will see you in my next video bye guys